All right, Novatech lovers. So I'm actually, what is this, Monday night, the 16th. Um, and we didn't work today, so I'm actually just getting back from vacation and passing through Salt Lake. So I'm still an hour away from my house, but I thought I'd stop by work and get everything ready for tomorrow morning. Um, but this is what we had last week, uh, and you remember 2766. But I just wanted to show you. I know, you know, the whole back office issue thing. But um, I told you I was going to wait a day to get my bonus in there so that I can take it all out um, as a bo bonus withdrawal. So there's my 3305. And basically the breakdown was last week, I had the $87.21 for the check matching. This week's check match matching was uh, $88.58, so that's added to it. Um, residual uh, bonus was $13.75. And the President's Club cashback, that's the 2.5% cashback, for the month is $349.32. So if you add that up plus the 2,766, you come up with 300 and, or 3,305. So I'm gonna take that um, bonus today and we'll see uh, how long that takes. I know the last one took like exactly seven days. So we'll see. Uh, when this one comes in, I know that, um, you know, uh, my upline did some digging and found some good stuff. Okay, so he showed me about four different accounts. We added up totals. Of course, it's, I mean, it's like $1.45 billion uh, just in four accounts, four wallets. And I'm sure there's many more out there. So definitely no cash flow issues or problems there. Um, and any of you who happen to catch the Zoom call today, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, um, hopefully that calmed a lot of your fears. They talk a lot about uh, the future and 2023 and basically um, just trying to get back to normal as far as all the requests for withdrawals. Uh, they're just catching up and trying to keep up to date with uh, technology and keeping it as fast as possible for everybody. Uh, but I'm gonna put the some highlights of, of that call on the end of this video. It was like an hour long, but I just got about 20 minutes of it. Um, so hopefully you guys can enjoy that and we will uh, talk to you definitely about Novatech on Friday when um, the next bonus comes in. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Working. So welcome, YouTube. Welcome. Right. Everybody's jumping on 4,000, 5,000 yeah. plus people. Super, super excited about that. Listen, you don't get that type of recognition and streaming of people wanting to be somewhere at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday if lives are not being changed. So welcome to each and every one of you. If you're brand new yeah. for the so first long. time. Um, you know, uh, we hope that you're in for a treat and just understanding truly uh, what Novatech is all about. This is not an opportunity meeting. Let me make that very clear. Uh, this is <laughs> a, a, a This is our gap. New Year hangout. Our New Year hangout. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, hopefully this year we can get, you know, more things under control so we can do more of these. Um, you know, because you're growing a little bit more famous than I am. I, I, you know, I don't. <laughs> but you, but you uh, changed your hair color. Sure. I did. You know, I'm turning 50 this year. I'm turning 50 in April. And I figured, you know, why not try to, you know, switch it up a little bit. Black, you know, usually makes you look younger. I was using the, the blonde to actually hide the gray hairs. And I was like, I got to stop doing that. But um, let's see how many comments we have about me, you know, changing my identity again. You know, I'm telling people, I'm a black woman. You should expect me to have a new hair every couple of weeks. I don't, I don't know any black woman who doesn't change hair regularly, but it's, I'm sure if I was doing that, I wouldn't be on a, a Zoom. Well, I mean, 2023, right? Um, the expectations, you know, we're in a new year. 
Uh, we understand that, uh, you know, having faith and having hope and understanding that, you know, 2023 is going to be here. and We're going to have a great year. We know we are. But there's going to also be rainy and cloudy days, you know, and I think more importantly, that's what people want to know, believe it or not. Right. Uh, people want to know, OK, well, what are the challenges that that's going to arise or or or, or you know, what are the stumbling blocks or the hurdles that Novatech has to overcome um, in 2023 now that we are here? Because we've already proved right. Novatech's already proved that they can sustain. You've been doing the exact same thing since 2019. It's why we're so big. But what are some of the hurdles that are you guys are consistently having to grow through? Um, no, that's that's that, that, that's a great question. But um, I think I think the biggest hurdle sometimes is just you know our own internal uh, processes. You know, we we you know with the growth, especially um, as far as what we're doing to produce income or produce profit or whatever, that that's that doesn't change. Um, and it's a little bit frustrating to us, especially when having to deal with these things, because the front end, for example, which is what users see, isn't always prepared for us, right? So, um, you know, you take, for example, we went through months uh, of this year, just with system downtime or slow, slow, you know, slowing down. We pay consistently, um, only because people like consistency and it's what works for the program and works for how we budget and pay for things. Um, you know, on a weekly basis. It doesn't stop everybody from wanting to log into the system at the same time, every single Friday, every single Saturday, in order to be able to check their accounts, withdraw. That's just human nature and it's to be expected. Um, we just, I think the biggest challenge we had this year was just finding developers, uh, servers, uh, system providers that can just keep up with us. You know, so I think for the most part, we've got a lot of those kinks worked out. You'll notice there's very little system downtime. Things are moving a lot faster. Um, we've uh, made an attempt also to add additional um, payment providers and gateways, which you'll, you'll also see in the back office. With that also comes with uh, system testing and some downtime. And I think, you know, um, aside, aside from just trying to keep up with ourselves, uh, a lot of times it's, it's very challenging just dealing with things that are going on in the market. Things that are dealing going on outside of ourselves because, um, you know, people allow themselves to be influenced by things that are going on outside that don't directly have anything to do with us or affect us, but indirectly, you know, can, can impact us. An exchange goes down, um, crypto crashes, um, you know, another business goes out of business. And for some reason, people get really caught up in those things. And it's not something that um, we try to focus on because our focus has to be here and what we're doing here to build. So sometimes, you know, it's challenging just dealing with outside forces. Um, but more importantly right now, what our main focus has been and, you know, why you probably don't see us on online too much is because so much of our time is being spent on just the infrastructure of um, and the usability of our site and, and things have to be easy for, for for our members. They have to be able to get in and out the site easily. They have to be able to make their withdrawals and deposits easily. And, um, you know, this, for example, this uh, new payment gateway, the first day we released payments, we crashed the system. <laughs> you know, you know, it was a, it was a minor, you know, fix. It took them literally maybe two to three hours to get it, you know, corrected and readjusted, which is why I, I love the new system is because of the service that it provides and their ability to when things go wrong, fix them quickly. Um, but it, you know, it, it's, it's a little harrowing while it's happening, but, you know, they were like, you know, we were prepared. We thought we were prepared for you. We just didn't realize how much you guys, what kind of volume you guys are dealing with. Um, because when we do things, we like to just do them quick and get them out the way. So, um, you know, running into these kind of delays and whatever else, I know it's frustrating for, for users. It's equally frustrating, if not more frustrating for us, because I want to be able to just push a button and let things go. And uh, that doesn't always happen. Uh, but we're hoping that, you know, between today, tomorrow, we can start to get back on track with um, a lot of the, the system testing that's going on so that our users aren't having any you know, concern. Every little thing, guys, trust me, I use the system myself. Um, I've been in the market 
in the same position most of our user in for, for many years and every little thing causes your stomach to just drop sometimes and you get nervous and you panic but um you know i just mostly want people to understand that none of it is intentional when things go wrong of course not um, and it's always our goal to just continue, you know, to fix things as quickly as possible so that it affects our members as little as possible. Um, so, the, like I said, the goal, you know, be, over the next few days is just to get back on track so that we can focus on the things that, that matter. Um, you know, so people aren't having that anxiety. <laughs> yeah, one, I, think, I, think, I think one of the biggest challenges, and if you can speak on this, and you mentioned it, uh, the sentiment of people, because they're constantly watching everything that's going on on the outside. And right. being that Novatech is so unique in its platform where everyone always, for the most part, has full access to their capital, everything that they make a deposit in. It's very unusual in this space. So what ends up happening is when people start seeing, for example, exchanges going down or the market this or CNN's talking right. this, or, you know, this people now get anxiety and then they do what they wouldn't even do in their own, let's just say retirement, right? Which is going want to do withdrawals. How do, how do, how do we, how do we control that? You know, from your perspective. You just have, people just have to be um, calm or settled or comfortable. You know, um, it's like, how do you, you know, Calm a wife who thinks her husband may be cheating, or you know, it's like if once something is in your head, it's 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 a mindset. You have to have a, a level of comfort. You take, for example, the people who have been here, been here from the beginning. You guys talk to us regularly, so you know a little bit more about what goes on behind the scenes sometimes. Um, so you have a level of comfort that somebody new coming into the business may not have that level of comfort. It's really um, on on us to make sure that we continue to provide uh, a proper service in an expeditious manner, in uh, a professional manner, so that people don't have a level of discomfort. No matter what you do as you're dealing with people's money, there's always gonna be that, uh, what just happened kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? But um, I, th that, don't, that onus is really on us, you know, to make sure that we communicate properly, that we fix things properly, that we provide profit so that people don't think, you know, there's something wrong. What I would encourage people to not do um, you know, is listen to people online who honestly sometimes have no idea what they're talking about or what they're saying. You know, it's some people's jobs to do nothing more than to, to search for businesses to discredit them. Um, and it, I've, I've never paid attention to any of it. I know sometimes people want us to react to it or say something about it. But if I put my focus on there, then my focus is not here. Uh, you made a, a, a cool analogy last night about um, you know, celebrities or whatever, having to be online all day long listening to what other people say. But I just think it's a sad state, you know, when you have to put yourself in a position to discredit uh, other people in order to build your own business or uh, distract them or whatever. I We have never done that. You'll never find any, any of um, the uh, admins here at Novatech talking about another business or justifying something somebody said online or whatever. It's just not our, our, our focus. Our, our job and our main goal has always been to build people. And we can't build people if we're tearing down others, right? So we just got to stay focused on what it is that we're doing so that we provide a service. And the people inside of Novatech, you know, um, of course, you're always going to have some people that are having a struggle or a problem with their account or whatever else that we need to um, address. And, you know, I want to talk about that also next. But uh, we we get nothing more than um, a lot, a great deal of gratitude, um, you know, for, for what it is that, that we do. And I, it's, again, it's just about providing people a solution. We've never advertised ourselves as being, you know, the get rich quick or give us all your money or put in more. You know, people ask us all the time, why do we have a $99 account? It doesn't make sense. It's because a lot of our members, that's all they have. And that's what they enter with and they build and they have an opportunity to, to make more. I have people who started with $99 accounts and are now buying, you know, Mercedes and, and, and living in nice houses that they would have never lived in. And, you know, it's not even just about the money. You know, I had a mom message me yesterday about being able to buy an electric wheelchair, you know, for her daughter um, who was born with spina bifida. 
you know, and being able to take her on vacation for the first time ever. You know, others who are paying their medical bills or um, getting their kids through school or, you know, I, I we started from the bottom with everybody here, you, you know, and it's it's every single time I'm like, oh, this is getting so difficult. You know, we we get those stories in, in our inbox and it's like, God just knows to time them just correctly. You know, and I, I tell you guys that all the time. Somebody will just in a random message about the difference we're making in their lives. And to me, that, that you know, that overtakes everything else. We are in, I still consider a small fish in, in a very big ocean. We're not even like in a pond anymore or, or a shark tank. We're in a very big ocean. And a lot of people don't like that we're in their space. They don't like, you know, what we're doing or, you know, how, you know, they say we're doing it or whatever else, and they want to label or mislabel, you know, what we do in an effort to um, try to discredit us. But, you know, the the fact that um, we've been able to stay ongoing for so long and satisfy accounts for so long and still have a vision for the future, I think just speaks for itself. And, you know, whoever wants to try to take it down, they can, but unless God walks in this door right now and tells me that, you know, we're taking you down, which he's not going to do because he gave it to us to help benefit people, then I don't think that's going to happen. So um, I'm sorry, am I preaching? I was trying not to do that this morning. No, you're not. (laughs) (laughs) We're growing so fast, right? Mm -hmm. But I know we're also in a position, or at least you're in a position through Novatech, that you could actually just shut all the noise up and make this where we just make it a private community and say, hey, we're not taking in any any, any members. It's not like this is a Rob Peter to PayPal platform. Why not just shut it down and, and just allow the people just to be a private club where now that's it. And if you want to open up later on, you can. Why not do that? Um, well, technically we are a private club. What happens is we share, this private club shares information publicly, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> There's nothing that's not private about who we are. Um, And again, you know, I I don't know if the goal of the company, the overall goal of the company should be to shut down. When you start something as big as of a snowball or avalanche that it may turn into, you start something small and you build it for what reason? You build it to be able to give more and more people opportunity. And yes, there'll be people here, but do we do it at the, um, you know, to benefit the people who are here already and not be able to benefit the people who have an opportunity to still come in? So, you know, what's more fair? Shut down to new people or tell the old people you've had your fun time to get off the ride and let new people in? And you could look at it that way as well. You know, that yeah, there are plenty of people here who've been benefiting for years, um, you know, but again, what's what's the purpose of, of, of doing so? Private clubs sound nice. They sound great. You know what I'm saying? I, I was one of those kids who grew up that, you know, I never got picked to play sports. I was terrible at it. Very clumsy. I still am. You know, but nobody wants to feel left out or that yeah. they can't qualify or that they can't be here. There are still a lot of societies and communities that, for example, that can't afford what let's say a u.s citizen may be able to afford to come in here and do you know so exclusivity is nice but i would like that to be you know our own members inside of what it is that we do that help this remain a a private club you know don't go out on social media and say a bunch of nonsense don't sign up for novatech if you're just here to creep on us you know what i'm saying enjoy the view um, and then go back to your, you know, your little cage or wherever you came from in order to, you know, spread your, your what you think are dirty secrets. I don't think anybody can come to inside of this this institution and 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 find something wrong to say unless they're making it up. So yeah, I, I encourage people to just, you know, um, if we if we want to be exclusive, if we want to be a private club, treat it like a private club. Treat it like when you sign into your back office that you're the only one that's able to access it. You're the only one who has, you know, um, that, that information, you're, you know, and if you want to share it with others, make sure you screen them and, and, and qual- pre-qualify them. I don't think we do enough of that. People sign up people all the time. I'm not a fan and have never been of, um, 
uh, what do you call it, like leads, uh, filters and, and stuff like that. I've always grown businesses organically, just having conversations with people. And that's how you pre-qualify them to come into this. Uh, so, you know, some of you guys are bringing a bunch of riffraff into the business uh, <laughs> sometimes too, that don't understand it, or they're not investing, or they have, you know, an account that they're not building and they're not sharing it. And then the minute, you know, a withdrawal is three minutes late, they want to, you know, scream fraud. Well, that's it's not this type of, that's not this type of business. You know what I'm saying? Um, we work very hard uh, to maintain our credibility, and it's um, it's very important to us that we are, we're able to continue. You know what it is that we do. You said something very. I'm looking at the, the the questions that are coming in, and one person asked, "Hey, why aren't profits higher?" Because crypto is higher from last week to this week. Another person says, "Well, why why are the profits so low compared to other companies?" And, and I want to say, <laughs> "Baby, who I'm from? I don't know. Exactly. Don't work for me. <laughs> don't work for me. Maybe they can trade. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, and and to touch on that also, you know, I don't know if it's the the holiday season or things that were going on in the market. I have to imagine it's just a combination of of, of a lot of different things. But um, you know, a huge huge amount of of withdrawals." Um, and we're trying to get to those as, as fast as we can, but the volume is like much ridiculously higher than it would normally be. Some of that may just be, again, holiday season, people just needing, you know, money, uh, people going out buying houses. Maybe there's another opportunity. I, every time something new pops up in the market, we notice more withdrawals. Totally fine. <laughs> you know, every time a business crashes, there's more withdrawals because for some reason they think I'm another business. I, you know, it's, all of these things impact um how quickly we can do things and uh, you, you want higher you know um profits but you know crypto may not be heading in the right direction or the market may not be heading in the right direction or it's holiday and the, and the market's closed for so many days or you know everybody's like give me my money now i'll give it back to you next week some people just test us and and, and withdraw constantly we've never not paid anybody i just want to say that we have never not paid anybody since and June I'm of taking, 2019, you have never, not never been paid anybody. Nobody can say they've never gotten paid. Okay. Um, right now, there's this. It's 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 not as fast as we we would normally do it, but it's because the requests are so much higher than we normally receive. Now, uh, you know, for 2023, guys, we have some projects that we were um, working on aggressively last year. Some of it ended up on the back burner only because of you know the dip in crypto war in Ukraine, other you know outside influences, and in our own um, we we paused uh, for a while also just to make sure that we were focusing on the um, the infrastructure um, and making sure that our site works. We can add whatever we want to the program if we don't have a a site or a service that can accommodate it. It's it's really for nothing. So we're getting back on track with a lot of that over the next couple of months. We hope to be able to announce um you know changes or additions uh to to the services and whatever else that we're providing so that again we can you know continue to to build the goal is never to you know walk away or put our tails between our legs or stop taking people or you know back down so it's it hasn't been our style for the past four years we don't intend to um to do that and uh like i said over the next couple of months uh, I think we should be getting an update over actually the next week or two also on, on some of the projects we were working on last year. So I will be more diligent about, um, you know, being online and, and communicating things with you guys. And, uh, you know, I just want to thank everybody again for being here. Thank you to all the leaders, you know, for all the, the support that you provide. And, um, you know, I, I, again, I just love being able to be in touch with you guys and, and hear things. And uh, hopefully we can just... Um, impress everybody this year as much as we have if not more over the last two years and show people who we are all right guys hey. let's wrap it up we love let's you guys tremendously up. thank you for, for everything that you do um i'm looking i'm excited about this year you know it's been a stressful couple of months but you know when you're when you're a rock you have no chance but you know no choice but to just stand still and and make sure that you, you remain you know impenetrable so uh i do encourage everybody to just you know, um be a little patient and I promise you, we are doing everything that we can to um, to keep up. You said this is not the red light district. This was the last thing I needed to ah. say. Right? <laughs> you said this is not the I, red. I you, create, you created a system that was designed to build your profits over time. This is not the red light district. Let me say that's that. Right. Yeah. 
you close this on this. Not, so what I think important. what I said was that we are not a slam bam, thank you, ma'am. This is not, we didn't build our bit with there. This is not the red light district, but more like the suburbs. You actually have to work to get here and you have to, you know, keep up with the Joneses. So um for those of you who uh, don't like the profits, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> for those who, you know, think things could be a little better, we are improving. Um, you know, we we appreciate the feedback. We understand nothing is done um, intentionally other than doing the right thing. So, you know, I'll leave that there. And um, God Thank bless you. everybody. Thank you for being so, here uh, this bright Tuesday morning. And uh, hope to talk to you guys soon.